buying the first rocket is not easy, especially for new players. Many players have spent a thousand dollars just to test their new rubbers. How much have you spent before finding your rimming equipment? Therefore, I explain to you the guide to choosing your first equipment in table tennis. I won't tell you the mark of table tennis racket that you should buy because the racket quality and table tennis evolve with time. Of course, you are new to table tennis and you may hear about the best equipment nowadays like Butterfly, Stiga, Double Happiness, Donut, Tiber, Chula, etc. Each year, there are hundreds of new blades and rackets and rubbers are released. Equipment Guideline Instruction from Chinese Coaches During my own experience of coaching, I found that new players often make this bad choice. These are the common mistakes in buying a beginner's racket. In general, you should choose the best blade and combine it with the best rubber that fit your style. But I want to show you the right way and some mistakes to avoid when choosing your first racket. New players often make the wrong choice when buying their first equipment. A player asked me, recently I have changed my rubber. When I tried yesterday, I felt it was too heavier than my previous rubber. Should I choose lighter rubbers? My answer is no. You should play with it. In the next week, you will get familiar with the feeling. And he answered me, Oh my god, you are amazing. Such expertise you have. It exactly happened as you said. Now I am enjoying it. Upgrade if necessary. In your career, you will change upgrade several rackets based on your improvement. You could choose the faster or harder racket. Some new players just upgrade their equipment because others say that. You should understand your style and upgrade only if you need to. Like if you lack power or spin in your shots, then you should upgrade to a faster setup. Say no to pre-made rackets. As a new player, never buy a pre-made racket with a cheap good quality and very thin rubber. This is very bad for your learning. Bad and cheap good will eliminate all of the good vibrations to your hand. Too thin rubber forces you to open more your racket to spin the ball, which is a very bad habit. Choose the right rubber hardness. Never choose too soft rubber, softer than 40 degree on your forehand size and softer than 3-5 degree on your backhand side. If you want to improve fast, choose the hardest rubber that you can manage to hit. The harder you choose, the faster you improve. Chinese kids always play with hard rubbers. Don't buy a too light blade. Never choose a too light blade, lighter than 80 gram. The heavy blade is not comfortable to play with at the beginning, but it will prevent you from the bad habit of some players, hit only by the wrist. Some new players just love playing with a very light blade because they have bad habits, hit with only the wrist. Heavy blade forces you to use the body and develop the full mechanism of the stroke. Choose the right rubber thickness. Never choose too thin rubber, thinner than 1.8 mm. Some coach just ask a new player to play with very thin to a very thin rubber, 1.5 mm. No, playing with a too thin rubber, the new player tend to open more his racket's angle. Thin rubber makes the ball bottom out very soon, so the players need to open more the racket to top spin and to compensate for this bottom out. This is a very bad habit. The ball is weak and less accurate. You will not improve fast with this setup. Slow down but higher quality. Never choose carbon too hard, too fast played. Another big problem with new players, they always want faster, faster and faster. 
but they don't know how to spin the ball. Chinese philosophy about table tennis, the blade gives the feelings, the blade is your hand. That is the rubber and your power will give the speed to the ball. Stick with one setup for at least 6 months. Never change equipment because they tell you this one is better. For each type of plate and rubber, try to stick with them at least 6 months. Try to discover your equipment. Don't just buy and try it only 2 hours and conclude. You are wrong. Each type of equipment has its own advantage. Try to figure it out and understand why you need to change to have more spin, more speed, low throw, attack style, more control, etc. Understand your playing style, your technique first, and then change your racket later. Focus on fueling and spin. And remember, as a new player, fueling and spin are the most important. My best advice if you want to improve fast in table tennis. Believe it, this message is not to promote any equipment. It is for you based on your my own experience of coaching and playing. So your first equipment needs to provide this information, good vibration and feeling to your hand.